Okay, now welcome to the last stop on this tour bus To the top where I was told her work would lure her Sure enough, sure enough. look where I'm headed yeah. The opposite direction of the life that okay. I dreaded Yo YouTube, what's up? I'm Tim. He is Justin. This is a Cash Kelly and AC Sports Report. He's Justin from Sports News Insider. We've been doing a lot of videos together lately. Uh, today, Justin is one of our MLB correspondents. He also runs MLB baseball blogs. We are making a video giving our predictions for the home run derby tonight. We will give our opinion on it to clear up any any confusion people have had. The captains essentially mean nothing from what I've been told. Um, all the captains did was choose the people who is gonna be in who are gonna be in it. That that's I believe the correct thing. I mean I asked Danny Nobler, who we've had on the show before of CBS Sports, and he had no idea how it was working. So piss poor performance by the MLB marketing team for getting this out there because half the people don't even understand it. But Let's get into the contestants first. Justin, you want to read off the contestants? Yeah, I'll read off the contestants, man. All right, so this is a kind of a actually a decent list going into this All-Star game. You got the home run guy right now, uh, leading in the home runs right now. We got Jose Batista representing the Blue Jays. We got Robinson Cano representing the Yankees. We got Prince Fielder representing the Brewers. Adrian Gonzalez representing the Red Sox. Matt Holliday representing the Cardinals. Matt Kemp for the Dodgers, David Ortiz for the Red Sox, and Ricky Weeks for the Brewers. So we got two Brewers and two Red Sox in this game, Tim. Yeah, that, that's another thing I have an issue with in this whole thing is part of having something that you want a ton of people to watch is marketing a ton of teams. Like, how do you not have a Yankee in this? And if you're not going to have a Yankee, or uh, excuse me, they have a Yankee who's not a home run hitter. Robinson Cano is a very, very good second baseman, probably the best in the game right now. But he's not a home run hitter. I mean, neither is Granderson per se, but he's much better home run hitter than Cano. I mean, Mark Teixeira you could have got in this. I, I wasn't a huge fan of the people selected. Ricky Weeks in the case of the Brewers. Why is he in there? Uh, David Ortiz and Adrian Gonzalez appear to be good fits for this. One of those guys I can tell you will not be a good fit, but it, it was a decent selection. Regardless, wait, what? Tim, I have to agree with you on this one. I'm not really satisfied with the picks on this. I mean, Mark Teixeira should have been should have been in this, but what can we say? The the captain's picks who they got. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I uh, I I just they shouldn't have been allowed to pick two people from the same team. I have no issue that there's no Phillies in this because, quite frankly, there's none that belong there at this point. But. You're talking about a home run derby without Joey Votto, without Albert Pujols. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it. But, Justin, go through your bracket as quickly as possible because I want to get to a couple other things in this video and explain who you have winning and go from there. All right, so the first round the eliminations will go like this. I mean, it was a big question for the first round on who I was choosing on who's going to be out. So I'm going to the guys who don't hit a lot of home runs, but that can really hit home runs. First off, I have the Yankees, Robinson Cano being out in the first round. Then I have Matt Holliday of the Cardinals getting knocked out. Then, like surprisingly, I have David Ortiz who's going to be out in the first round. And to wrap it up in the first round, uh, I have Ricky Weeks who's going to be out in the first round. Going into the second round, that leaves none other than Jose Batista of the Blue Jays. Prince Fielder, who won it last year, um, Adrian Gonzalez, and we also have Matt Kemp. Um, it's kind of a, I like the second round because it determines on who's going to be in the championship. Getting knocked out, I have Adrian Gonzalez. I remember the last time he was in a home run derby, he didn't really do shit. Uh, sorry for my French right there. Um, but then we also had Matt Kemp, who's going to be knocked out, leaving the championship round to Jose Batista, the home run leader right now, and Prince Fielder, the winner of last year's. So the winner I have, it's going to be a great uh, finals. I think this is going to be a great, great, great finals. Uh, the winner I have is surprisingly Jose Batista. So guys, let me know what you think about this pick. Tim, who is your bracket? Well, I wouldn't pick that as too much of a surprise considering he's the favorite, but uh, I see what you mean there. 
Uh, in the first round, I have Ricky Weeks. Actually, I do have him advancing. The guys I have out are Matt Holiday. I mean, this is his third time in a home run derby. He's never really been his thing, I guess. I have him out, and I have Robinson Cano out. I mean, I just have a feeling about Ricky Weeks that he's going to do enough to get out of that first round. Second round, I have Adrian Gonzalez and Ricky Weeks out. I mean, I was at the Phillies. Red Sox game the other week, watching Adrian Gonzalez taking batting practice, and he just doesn't seem like the type who swings for the fence. It seems like he just does it naturally, which is why I don't think he's a tremendous fit for the home run derby. So to wrap up the first round, we have uh, Ricky Weeks and Adrian Gonzalez out of it. We have, going into the second round, the final four, as some would put it, David Ortiz who's won it before, Prince Fielder, who's won it before, Matt Kemp, and Joey Bats, Jose Batista. Uh, going from there, I have Matt Kemp upsetting Jose Batista. You know, these favorites never seem to come through. It's always someone you're not quite expecting. Matt Kemp has had a tremendous season this year. He's got 22 home runs. I see this guy coming out on top, and I think this whole thing favors these right-handed hitters. I don't know why, I just kind of have that feeling that a right-handed hitter is going to win this year. A left-handed hitter has won the last few seasons. So, Justin, are, are you a fan of the home run derby, or do you find it boring like a lot of people? Well, we had this discussion a lot lately, and, like, I have to agree with you. It's kind of, like, the final round entertains me the most because it's the end of it, and plus, it's a good final. I, I mean... Seriously, in my book, just to put it in a quick answer, I'm going to have to say it, it's all right to me. It's all right. I, I, I don't even find the final round exciting. I find, like, the first round exciting because you see one guy just go off completely. Last year was Corey Hart. The other year was Josh Hamilton. We've seen Bobby Abreu. The list goes on. But after that, I mean, Corey Hart hit, like, 12 home runs in the first round. The guy didn't get up for another hour and a half. I don't know. I mean, something about this. It's just lost it for me. This is the only position where steroids ever, like, entertained people to the point where they say, eh, j just give it a pass here. Because the, the home runs now, they're, they're just, it's not, it hasn't been interesting the last few years. Josh Hamilton hit so many in that first round. You know, he ended up running out of gas at the end. I, I just, I don't see this home run derby drawing the interest it used to. Uh, the All-Star game being in Arizona, no shot at the Diamondbacks, but you guys got a boring-ass stadium. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not a huge fan. I here. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not even, like, going into this All-Star game, which we're going to preview here in about a half an hour, so we're going to upload this later. I really don't see, there's not even a lot of Diamondbacks. I think there should at least be a couple of players from each team in the All-Star game. You know? Yeah, that that's a good point. There there should be someone who is on the team and the the problem for the Diamondbacks is they don't really have that elite hitter right now. I mean if you had to pick if you had to pick one person on the Diamondbacks, who would you put? I mean, they don't have Mark Reynolds anymore, that would have been a fit. Who who would you put in? I would put Justin Upton in. I mean that's the guy who's the face of the franchise right now. Well you also have Chris Young who's been in the home run derby. I think it was last year, but he didn't really do crap. But I just really think that at least one person from each team should represent their team in the All-Star game. Yeah, one person will in the All-Star game. You, yeah, I, you mean in the home run derby. I mean, Upton, why not? I mean, if you're going to put Ricky Weeks in and Robinson Cano, I, I don't really understand why you couldn't pick someone from the home team. But there is our home run derby predictions. Justin goes with Joey Bats, Jose Batista. And after Jose Batista goes off like Justin predicts, we're going to have to listen to more of, oh, he's on steroids talk, but I, I don't think he will win, so hopefully we won't have to hear that, because I'm getting sick of it. I mean, the guy's a great power hitter. Is he on steroids? I don't know, and I don't want to know. I, I, I would love to think that the steroid era is behind us, and that I would never have to deal with that, and that this is a guy who's just a late bloomer. Let's stick with that. He's Justin from Sports News Insider. I'm Tim. We'll see you later.